guys, it's your girl Carol NG here again, and I'm back with a very interesting one today. So, well, it has been long since we have been in the kitchen. And let me say we are back and very equipped. So today I'm going to make something that is not loved by most people, and I think you can start guessing what. Uh, I'm cooking some omena, or simply I'm showing us how to do some omenas without getting any funny smell in the house. So make sure you don't miss out in this video. Make sure you share it and make enjoyable omena enjoyable for everyone. So th for those who are new, Karubuni Sana to this channel, we love visitors. Please give our videos a thumbs up, comment, share, and like. So guys, let's go. Off to the kitchen, guys. So guys, this is what we will be using. So we have said we are preparing omenas step by step. So here are our omenas. This one. We have our lemon. You can either use lemon or vinegar, but this one is better because it's natural. Then we have our pieces of garlic. We have our red onion. You can use this bulb or this red bulb onion or the white one we have two ripe tomatoes we have our dania we have a glass of milk we are having boiled water in here uh our salt and cooking oil is uh, a must but i forgot to place them here but we are going to be using them too so guys we are going to do this step by step Make sure you follow do those who do not love uh, omenas because of the smell. You can try out this. I'm going to show you the magic that normally takes away the smell. And guys, you need to test this. You need to test this. You need to test this. There are those other omenas that are usually already fried, but I decided not to use them because I really wanted to show us what we should do in case we don't have the fried ones. Can we also try these other ones in a very good procedure that will eliminate the smell? So guys, let's start. So, what we normally first do, make sure you first sort your omenas. By the way, omena hukujana, it normally comes with a lot of dust. You will get mchanga there. Sometimes you even get snails, sorry to say. That's the reason you first need to sort them out so let's start by doing that so i've realized that i put them in a small plate so to, what we are going to do we put them in a larger one that will help us sort them well so guys let's go Allow me to sort them behind the scenes, but the first step is sorting. I'm done sorting out the first batch. Uh, oh my God. And you see what I was showing you guys in shell, by the way. So I'm going to look for it. It is. By the way, this one may make you lose your appetite at times. So just make sure you sort them properly without a hurry. Sasa kama hiyo sikuwa ni meona. Just be very careful. Zina kuanga na uchafu mingi sana. You need to be very, very thorough. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about my camera. So just be very thorough, by the way. Don't be in a hurry. Don't be in a hurry when doing the sorting. Otherwise, you will not love what you will be eating. Look at the shells. They are quite many. Look at them. So then just make sure you recheck. So I'm going to do this to all of them, just rechecking as I get them in this bowl. I'll just recheck, just check if they're okay. So I'm going to do this for all of them. So guys, I'm done sorting. 
they are very very sorted and you can see by the way it is very normal to get shells these are shells by the way most of what i've gotten there so it is very normal so don't feel upset once you get shells in your omenas so that's step number one step number two remember our boiled water yeah you can either some people normally opt to boil the omena which is very okay but personally i normally use hot water so we are going to put our hot water to the in the omena we need them soft after cooking and that's the reason we boil or rinse using hot water so let's go guys we're going to put enough water yes our hot water is there then the next thing we are going to use our magic ingredient number one which is this our lemon i said you can either use a lemon or vinegar if you don't have the vinegar it is always good use this by the way because it's very very natural and this one the lemon is used to get rid of uh the smell so those who do not like the smell use lemon at this stage we are going to squeeze it squeeze the water here uh so nisha toa the mbegu my lemon does not have any any seed so i'm sure it does not have any seed then you can squeeze squeeze the water the lemon juice there If you have a lemon squeezer you can use it to extract the water so since i don't have and my hands are very clean when you're getting to the kitchen step number one always ensure that your hands are very clean so i think that one is enough because they they aren't very many so we are gone two steps the first thing i said we sorted the next step uh we added water our hot water the third step yeah we in the third step we have squeezed our lemon juice or uh added our vinegar i don't know vinegar in our omenas so at this stage we are going to soak them for 15 minutes then i'm going to show you what we are going to do next in the meantime i'll be preparing my ingredients so guys let's wait for the 15 minutes and we will be back so guys it's exactly about 15 minutes later and i believe that our omena is uh very very okay so you can see it's very dirty so we are going to get it out of this water and rinse it again. Then I will show you what we are going to do next. So let me do it. So this is our first water. It's a bit dirty. Uh, so I have put them in something that is still uh, draining away the water. This one. In a drain majibado because it has some holes in it. So we are going to get uh, all of them out of this water and rinse them for the last time, after which I'm going to take you through the next process. So guys, it's now ready for the next step. So all the almost all water is drained. So what I'm going to do, we are going to place it on in a sufuria for some minutes so that all the water can uh, be gotten rid of on a cooking pan. So I'm going to do this in the sufuria so that we can fry them here. So let's go guys so we are putting them here so that all the water is going to get drained or we are simply drying them until uh they become a bit golden brown after which we are now going to fly uh, fry jehovah jire we are going to fry them so So we are doing this they are already soft by the way the hot water has really helped so turn them until they are golden brown and we will now comfortably move to the frying stage you can use the pan 
You can still use the same sufuria to fry. It's upon you to decide. So dry them at very low heat and you can add in some cooking oil. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Just add a little bit of cooking oil, please. I forgot to add in that so that uh, it is not going to burn up before it dries. So we are going on so well. So our omenas are dry and uh, they have already begun kushika uh, sukuria. So let's move in quickly to the next step. So let's go, guys. So the remaining we have not put in any ingredients in our in our omenas. So here they are. We are going to use our onions. Onions. Uh, this is uh, my ginger paste. My ripe tomatoes and finally my garlic and my milk. So for the ginger, by the way, if you do not have uh, that pesto and mortar that we normally use to crush, this part of this thing is just magical. You normally crush it here and it gets very fine paste. Hapa, this part does very good paste of the garlic. So guys, let's go to our final step, which is frying our omenas using our ingredients. Step number one is our oil. So our oil to heat, then we are going to add in our onions. So let's uh, wait for a few moments and then we will add them. So our oil is already heated, so we are going to put our onions. Me add all of them. So we are going to allow our onions to become golden brown. And in the process of our onions cooking kamakawaida, we are going to add our garlic paste. So once they begin browning, we are adding our garlic paste just to add in the flavor to our omenas. So our onions have begun turning brown and at this stage I'm going to add my garlic paste. Garlic paste is simply everything during any cooking. By the way, it adds in very good smell to the food. Very good smell when cooking. A little bit more time, then I'm going to add in my tomatoes. So you realize I didn't use very many ingredients, by the way. We use a uh, very few things in our cooking so it's just a simple meal and i think one of the reason why most people don't cook it is uh, because of the smell and let me tell you guys if you add the vi the vinegar or the or the what do we call or the lemon the lemon juice my friend you can't get disappointed you can't you can't you get you can't get disappointed so we are going to add our tomatoes at this stage So ensure that you cut them uh, in small pieces and also ensure that you do ripe ones because uh, they normally get you very, very good taste. So let's give them time to cook and we are going to be back after some time, after they are well cooked. We shall come in and add in something that is very optional. I'd even forgotten to use it. So, a bit of time for our tomatoes to cook. So, allow them to cook until they form paste. So, we don't need, we don't need them whole. We want some paste. Remember, guys, we haven't added salt. We will add it at this stage. Add enough salt depending on the amount of omenas you are cooking. So you can add them immediately, you add in the nyanyas, or you can allow them to cook, then add, it's up to you, it's up to you, bora usisahau kuweka. So a bit more time, but they are almost a bit more time. 
So our nyanyas are done, the tomatoes or rather. So we are going to add some something that is optional in this state. The Royco cube, you can add it or just leave it out. So I'm going to peel it and add it. So there we go. Uh, we normally do it that way, don't add it whole. So and uh, because of that, you need to be very careful when adding in your salt. Because the Royco cube normally have uh, some extra salt. So guys, at this stage, I will comfortably add my omenas. There they are. So, turn them and allow them to absorb uh, the tomatoes. God, I'm very, very tempted to taste. They look so good and I know they are very sweet. So, I'm going to just allow them to go for one minute so that they absorb, absorb sorry, the tomatoes and uh, the Royco cube. Then we are going to add in our danias because they are already cooked. The soaking for the 15 minutes did them justice, so we don't need to do much on them. So one minute or two, then uh, we will be there to add in our danias. Wow, 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 guys. Our omenas are ready. And I'm on uh, no, no, my danias are many, so I'm not going to add in all of them. Just do a little bit of them. So those are enough compared to the amount of uh, omenas that I have cooked. So guys, that was our last step. So when you see me adding Dania, know that we are done. We are done, 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 done. So guys, in case you needed dry omenas, we normally leave them at this stage. Serve them at this stage. So that is a dry fry procedure. But in case you need a wet fry, this is now when we come in and add our milk. Remember our milk? So we normally add a considerable amount depending on the amount of emena that we have. So dry fry for half or two angle, you can serve it that way. Those who love it dry. But as for me, I'm going to add some soup. And this is milk. Don't add in water, please. Add some milk. It, 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 it really has a good taste as compared to you adding water. So you can opt to add it here. Or you can bring the milk to a boil in a separate sufuria. Then add it. Mine is already boiled. I'm not even going to heat it. So... But it will be better if you boil it elsewhere and add it. So we are adding in our milk here. So I need some kasupu. So we are going to allow it to boil. So you can add boiled milk or you can add the cold one and allow it to boil together. So, turn your guess. So we will now give it some time to boil and then we are going to get our omena wet. Wet fry omena, wet fried omenas. So guys, we are done, done, done. That's our wet fried omena. Now, because I don't want all the soup to go, let me switch it off at this stage. And I'm very tempted to taste and I will taste. Allow me to taste it by the way. So, mm, wow, prepare with a lot of love, and it is very, very tasty, wow, so that's the end, follow through, nothing difficult, no smell in the house, no smell when eating, wow, it's just wow, 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 wow. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed the video. It's night already. We are we were preparing supper by the way. So, if you are new to this channel,
please hit the subscription button please subscribe subscribe and support this channel hit the notification bell too so that uh when i upload the vi uh, video you can always be the first to see comment like and share the video bye bye i love you so so much let's meet in our next video bye